Hey guys and girls, welcome back. So, um, where we left off, we just got a kid, Prim, um, yeah. Uh, we're following her, apparently she, she heard something up here. Water? You're right, I wonder where it's coming from. I can hear it at I can't hear it at all. No, it's there. I can hear it too. I think it's from this duct. Where does it go? You should go take a look. I can't fit in there. Prim, would you take a look? You're the smallest one here. What? No, it's all dirty. Make Sally do it. She was little. Sorry, I just escaped from prison. I'm too physically and emotionally exhausted. Cass, it's up to you. I'll remember this. <laughs> what? What is this? What's wrong? N nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You were just yelling. What is it? I said it's nothing. What? Cass, what's wrong? Are you okay? That's it, I'm going in. Go in. Okay. Damn it, this is tight. Cass, what are you doing? Stay away from me. Ah! Ow, damn. It smells like all we do these days is fall down stuff. It seems like. Are you okay? Oh my god. What? What? What is she? What? Huh? Don't look. What is May doing here? Cass, Delta, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What do you mean? This is my purification site. Uh, nay. Go back to sleep. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh my, what are you doing? Sally, oh thank goodness you're safe. I'm not. I'm drowning. <laughs> you shouldn't just drop in on people like that. You gave me quite a shock. S sorry. Calm down, Nay. Can't you forgive them for me? I don't mind that much. Besides, I'm just glad to have you back, Sally. I was worried about you. Thanks. Sorry for making you worry. That's all in the past now. Good job, you two. Not only did you find Sarley, but you even brought her back. Well done. We just got lucky, that's all. You... You did an amazing job. Seriously nothing. Um, who's this kid? Alright, that's... Grim! She's a naturally incarnated Genom. Cass and Delta created her on the way here. What? Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> you sure work fast, Cass. Hey, don't make this weird. Why are you so upset about it? Why wouldn't I be upset? Why did this have to happen and with him? Alright, I get it, I get it. That reminds me. Why did you fall in here in the first place? We heard water, so I looked through the pipe and saw you. We got lost running from the church. We were right overhead. We just didn't realize it. I see. Well, we have a lot to talk about, but... Why don't we get back to Felion first? Yes, that's... My clothes are all wet. Oh, have you done the purification ceremony yet? What? Well, yes, but... What? Already? You must have been awfully eager. No, I just thought I needed to do whatever I could to get stronger so I wouldn't be but such a burden. It's okay. You don't need to hide it from me. You can use the purification site in the future if you need to. I don't come here often. Thanks, Nay. Divine Empress! Ah! Ugh, usually it's so quiet here. Where did all this noise come from? Away with you! I've said countless times not to approach this place. I am most sorry. However, I have an urgent message for your highness. Speak. Combat machines are attacking Felion. It's only a matter of time before they reach the barrier. Is this true? 
Sorry. These are probably the same machines I told you about. I'd like to have a look at them. Building weapons that can destroy the ship walls is not easy. Which means... It seems likely that whatever weapons they're using were on the ship from the beginning. If my assumption is correct, I might know a way to stop them. Really? We don't have time to chat about this. Delta Cast, go defend the barrier. Sorry, we're going to Plasma. Got it. Alright. Wait, what about Prim? You come with me and stick close. Okay. You can now use a new purification site. Cool. No more Sarly. Alright. How do we do these talk options? Is that supposed to just be in this area of things? I really don't know where the wall is, but I'm just gonna wander, I guess. Let's, get started. Let's do this. I hope you guys are doing good and doing awesome as always. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. All right. These fairy things aren't really that strong. I'm gonna need her to use her, uh, her skill though, because right. it's gonna take a while if I need every enemy to death right now. I'm gonna wait until go. 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 Charge up enough to knock it quickly. Alright. Let's get this up. Alright. I can actually do this. Not that bad. Alright. Almost down all of them. We charged up so much, we might as well. I suppose that'll do. Battles in this area. Now let's get started. I'm leaving. Let's go. Right. Here come four. Get ready. Let's go. Nice. Good. All right. Time to unleash everything. All right. Time Ooh, to unleash robots. Uh. Bonus. Oh no. Let's throw it out now. <clears throat> Safe point. I'm not gonna do that. To the world map. Uh, we can't do nothing from the world map. All right. So we gotta go back. Sucks because it restarted everything. But I guess that's all right. Uh, go, 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 go. Battle. Now let's get started. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Good. Let's keep this up. All right. Putting 
No, you don't. Come on, let's finish this. Uh, nah. Let that turn. Breaking the turns right. like nothing. Hey, ladies. Activate the song. That's the purification site. So do we gotta go just straight up the steps? You're up. Good. Let's keep this up. All right. What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, 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 oh. Let's keep this up. We're oh, putting nice. an end to this. Yeah, da, yeah, da, da, da. Come on, come on, come on, one after the other. Come on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got the bonus. Here come four. Get ready. Alright, time to unleash I suppose that'll do. Now to get rid of battles for the moment. Give me that. Uh, what's in here? Presidential Zone Terminal Plaza. Okay, alright, so I'm on the right track. Because this would be the way back to the, uh, the wall, right? The gate, the barrier, whatever. Oh, cutscene? Uh-oh. What have they done? I won't forgive them. Is the city under attack? Yes. It's taken all Felion's. Got to, f to. It's taken all Felion's got to fight off the Shaw. Oh no. Cass, let's hit that big guy over there. Start singing. On it. Now let's get started. Can I use that? Yeah. I'll save Sundarain though, because Sundarain seems to have a large charge up. You're up. Good. Saves are like crazy, like you gold. Me. Really good. I got you. Not bad. I'm leaving this one up to you. Nice. Really good. Ah, he didn't die from that. Good. Good. My turn. How about this? This. No breaks. Ow. Ow! Come on, let's finish this. Let's this is hard. How about this? Don't stop now! You better protect me! Really good! I'm leaving this one up to you. How about this? Please don't stop now! Here I go! I'm counting on you! Good! Good! I'm leaving this one up to you. Please be. Got him. All right, looks like we cleaned up everything outside the barrier. Yeah, Delta, carry the injured inside. I'll perform emergency first aid. Got it. P Prim wants to help too. Is there anything I can do? Um, you could help treat injured people inside the barrier. Treat them? You mean help them? Okay, I'll try. Nefe wa. Song magic. Well, she is a natural incarnation. <laughs> Prim, keep it up. They need your help. Right. 
I got it. Don't get too far away. Okay. Mr. Delta, Miss Casty, the Divine Empress calls for your presence at Plasma Headquarters. It's so demanding. No, Sally might have found a way to stop those machines. Oh yeah, she did say that, huh? Please tell her we'll be there as soon as we're done helping these people. Understood. I wonder who the Divine Empress is. Like, if she's anything to do with um, the characters from the first game of this drama. Because I know the leader of on the first game um, used to be happy with humans. Spoiler alert, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah. Um, watch my playthrough of the first game. Hey, are you okay? Y yeah. Wait, are you a Charles? Uh, what? Prim is Prim. Mommy told me to help hurt people. Mommy? Casty. What? She's got a kid already? N no way, I refuse to believe that. Oh, are you a Casty fan? Is there something wrong with that? Look, the point is, we need to be helping these people. Uh -huh, he's a fanboy for Casty. I know that. Aren't you hurt? It's just a scratch. There are people in much worse shape than us. We need to go help them. Wait. Song magic? Whoa, my wounds are. Mine too. How's that? Amazing, you're Casty's kid, alright. I didn't think you could use song magic. Hey, could you help us treat the others? Sure, okay. Thanks, let's get moving. People need your help. Is this what Mommy's doing? Of course, she's using, using song magic to protect the city. You could say she's one of the goddesses of Felion. A goddess, huh? Come on, let's move. Okay. So yeah, everyone's helping out um, in the city. Alright. I haven't had to use items or, or get any at the moment. Like, I've just been going off of the story. So, we're going to Plasma Headquarters. We'll check out what's going on here, I guess. You're late. I know, sorry. What's the damage to the city? The barrier was damaged, but thankfully there weren't any casualties. Good. Where's Nay? She just summoned you for me. It would have been hard for me to get a mercenary like Delta here by myself. Oh, sorry. Doesn't matter. There's something I need to tell you. And something I need to ask you about those machines. The combat machines? Yes, they're being driven by song magic. Now that you mention it, the people from the church did say that. What does it mean? There are two broad categories of song magic. Songs for attacks and healing. And control songs for facilities. Control songs are especially powerful. And they're known and feared as CLN. The CLN used to drive those combat machines is called CLN Protecta. CLN are programs which are converted into songs that installed within one's mind, but to tell the truth, the CLN Protecta causing us trouble was something I received from the doctor. You mean the guy we talked to back at, at your hideout? Yes. He gave me that song while I was trying to figure out how to infiltrate the church. Before I could use it, though, I was captured and the song was taken from me. In other words, it's my fault Felion is in so much trouble right now. I'm really sorry. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything about that now. But does that mean if we take back Seal and Protecta, they stop? Yes, of course. That's why I'm planning to do just that. Hold on, do you even know where it is? No, I don't, but I doubt it's being kept outside church headquarters. Then we need to infiltrate Conturve again. Yes, but this time they know who we are. It'll be difficult. Even so, we've got to. Those machines need to be stopped. That's right. Thank you, Delta. So what should we do? It would probably be best to leave as soon as possible. True. We can't take too long, but there's one thing I want to do first. What's that? 
I want to chain my genometrics with you two. The church has probably beefed up security since we escaped. If we're going to make it inside, we're going to need very powerful song magic. So I'm going to give you a thought resource and help you create stronger song magic. Can you explain that in a way of a normal person would understand? Fine. To put it simply, I'm going to give you guys new song magic. Really? That's awesome. Hold on, it's a little early to celebrate. You can't just hand it over, right? Of course not. That's why we came to a bias shop. Cass and I will connect our hearts and I'll allow you to access my genometrics. So we're going to go into your mind and weave song magic there. Exactly. Song magic is a product of thoughts. You've already been in Cass's genometrics. You should understand. Receiving song magic from me is exactly the same process. I'll chain with Cass so you can both enter my mind. And once my subconscious wants to help you, the song magic will be created. That means I'll need to go into the crazy world inside your head, huh? Not if you don't want to. I just wanted to make sure I was helping in every way I could. So if you don't mind, I'd like to chain my genometrics with yours, Cass. Is that alright? I don't mind. I have known you for a long time. I don't think I have anything I want to hide from you. I wonder. I hope you feel the same after seeing my genometrics. Oh well. The rest is up to the bio shop. Ready when you are. I'll start linking your mind with Miss Casty. Is that okay? Yes. Alright, both of you cl close your eyes. All done. Thank you. The next time you enter Genometrics, you should be able to access my mind as well. I can't guarantee you'll be able to weave song magic, but you should take a look if you're interested. I don't, can I use Sarli? That's what I'm not getting what, about the companions. That's right there. Like, how would you be able to switch out Cass and, like, use Sarli? And, and then there's talk options there, which I don't understand how, like, would I use those talk options? I don't understand. Crystal display. There's gotta be something I can do to do this. I also want to adjust the screen, because it's still a little too weird. This thing. Romance novels. Would those be just like from when you're sleeping? Why can't I zoom in on them? <laughs> That's weird. Jump. Alright, well, we're jumping into uh, Sarley. Dive. Yep. Zell, Land of Death opened. Sarli, City of Wicked Love opened. I've done this one for her song magic already, so... We've got Zill, so will let me be able to freaking Like, magic up with her. But, yeah. Uh, let's do Sarli. And then we'll try Zill. Oh, this is Sarley's world. Pretty different from what I was expecting. Oh, really? What kind of world were you expecting? Hey, Prime. You can come to other worlds, too. If the world is chained to the two of you, I can go anywhere because I live inside your mind. Oh, yeah. Where's Cass? Cass is somewhere in this world as well. When you're in a world with someone who's chained to you, it doesn't mean the conditions are the same. Really? Yes, for example, when in a group of three, there might be different tensions. 
than if there were two, yes? This is like a Gotham version for Sar like Sarley's world, like with the cloud symbol in the sky. That applies to the mental world, too. Depending on your relationship with others, the world changes. Cass and Sarley are quite friendly, so that probably explains why I've adapted to this world. What the? So I'm like a third wheel in this arrangement? Now, now. If it was the real world... I understand, but this is the mental one. It might actually be good. How so? Strength of song magic change through a friend is determined by the bond of friendship between the two. Nonetheless, if the two are too close, it may not work, especially in a relationship with much codependence. That is why it is important for you to view this world objectively. Your true values lie there. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm not as close to Sarley as Cass is, so I'm better suited to weave song magic. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to motivate me. <clears throat> Lot to do in this world. Still, this world is really dark. Is this part of Sarley's mental world too? Anyway, first I need to find Sarley. Is there anyone over there? Random brother. Well, that old man looks pretty scary. But there's no one else, so I guess he's my best shot. Excuse me! I'm looking for my friends, Cass and Sarley. Have you seen them? Hey, don't you dare talk to me like I know you, you little twerp! Huh? Uh, oh, sorry. Something must have gone haywire with your brain. If you think you can just walk up, you're one of them, huh? Th them? Hey, I'm really not sure what you're talking about, but you're... Doubting me? Phew, what a scary thought. Better keep some salt at my door to ward off you. Hey, wait. Ah, oh, he's gone. That was pretty cold. Is everyone in this town like this? Hey, I don't see you around often. You new here? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess you could say that. Thank you very much for coming, and welcome to the city that never sleeps. New Rock City. Uh, um, thanks for the warm welcome. I saw that just a moment ago, that was pretty mean. I can't believe someone would say something like that. But who the heck is this? You look kinda shady. That's because of the no friend allowed no friends allowed law. I completely understand, yes? No friends allowed law? The heck is that? Oh, are you anti law? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, you're ex exactly what we need at our firm. Alright, I'm scouting you to join us. Now how about we start with a contract, yes? Hey, wait just a second. I've got things to do, to do, you know. Oh, don't you worry about that. I know you've got a lot of potential. You can be the best we've got. I want to be the very best. So we could either take her down that path or to the top left there if I enjoy it. Well, of course, I want to be the best. I knew you were up for the challenge. Nothing beats being on top, right? No matter what it is you do. When are you going gonna be the best? Now. Now let's spread our philosophy of love. Not really sure what's going on, but sure. <laughs> Niyoroki Z, amazing kick. Ah. God, what the heck just happened? Ah, we can't really take you unless you're strong too. Come, try again. Oh, so that was a failure. Why? What? How did I fail that? That was weird. Back in the Sarley. Hey, Prime! Doesn't matter, you usually don't call me. I saw you in the real world. Oh, I see. But she must have been born. I guess so. How was she? She's 
she looked like you, but her personality was completely different. That makes sense. I'm aware of everything in the mental world, but she's still pure. Just born. And the deepest level of consciousness, we're the same person, but she's not aware yet. Does that mean the real life Prim is going to become more and more like you? Hmm, I wonder. Human and, humans and Genoms are both influenced by their surroundings more than subconscious. I don't really think she'll become like me. This feels really weird. Regardless, the Prim you see was created from your own feelings, Delta. Take care of her. Of course I will. A life created from my thoughts, huh? I guess I really need to take good, good care of it. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Daddy. Taking to so much time. If you don't act, they're gonna get here. They? I guess I just have to brainwash it myself. What? Brainwash? Hey, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> I suppose I have no choice but to tell you since you asked. A word with no love, that's a crime in itself. I am pretty Barry, the evangelist of love. Oh. are you? But I just told you who I was. Now, you've seen me, so you must obey me. What the hell are you trying to do? Why, well, obviously, I want you to love... Hold it right there. I can't have you take our upstanding citizen. We have you surrounded. What the heck's going on now? That weak-sounding voice can only be... The interdimensional warrior, Ganori, shines to your service. With just a hint of Cinder, the passionate Urijo. And the warrior who fights for dreams and hope, Niyoroki. We are warriors of reason and order, Niyoroki Kellerzi. <laughs> okay. Now your heart will be broken. My heart will be... what? <laughs> I saw this coming from a mile away, you fake sheep. We're not fake sheep. We're the warriors who fight for dreams and hope from planet Niyoroki. You don't need to explain all that, Niyoroki. Evangelist of love, nay. You're going to come with us. Damn it, I was so close. Nothing new. But you really never learn, do you? You've been defeated every single time. Shut up! Huh. Today I'm gonna skin that wool off of you make you realize you can't live in a world without love. I'm gonna go first. Wait a sec, you always go first head on. Strike first to catch the worm or something. No, you've got it completely wrong. It's under the red line, seven dimensions. Please go head on. <laughs> you call that an attack? Feast on this pretty love bomber. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Why, you, you remember this? I knew it. Didn't see that one coming. I'm gonna get you next with the menacing eyes. I'll turn you into a slave of love. Ugh, what an odd little creature. This world doesn't need love. You stand back. Are you talking about me? Obviously. Don't blame us if we take some straight fire. There'd be no point for us showing up if we did. In other words, we're protecting you from love. Get it? That won't be necessary. What'd you say? Love is important. Obtain the thought, Jeff. Love is valuable. I may not agree with how she's doing it, but I don't think she's wrong. Why you? I guess there's nothing that can be done. So you understand then? It means you're already our enemy. 
What? Hey! Did that guy's eyes just light up? Very well said. This means you're on my side, right? Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. The time for talking is over. It's time the both of you go by a bye bye Huh? You better prepare yourselves. How the hell does that happen? Shut up and eat this Nioroki Z amazing cake! Bah! Huh? I'm... okay? Ugh. What? You mean you didn't attack me? Hey, are you okay? Um, Evangelist of something or other? Nate? That's Evangelist of Love! Ugh. How could this... Defenders of Justice would never attack an innocent citizen! Our target was the Evangelist of Love all along. We used you! Y used But this man said that love was important, too. Hmm. In that case, I suppose we have no choice. Well, I think this woke him up to the truth. It was all a pl It was all a ploy to trap me? Precisely. Um, no. Those eyes from earlier. You were serious? Yeah, those... Don't think you've won. You may have defeated me. But there are still many uh, out there who preach love. The outcome will be the same no matter how many times you try. Love is not needed. M Master... And another threat has been eliminated. I'm really not sure what's going on. But it looks like I'm saved. There's no need to thank us. You have to watch your back, Delta. Huh? How'd you know my... Oh no, whoa. Would you look at the time? Gotta run. Hey, wait. Sheesh. Urijo, you lack awareness as a Nero killer Z. Who the heck are you guys? I hope you've learned your lesson. You must live life without being swayed by emotions. Hey, wait up. And they're gone. What the heck was that? Man, we're off to a real heavy start. Seems there's doubt in your mind. Yeah, you said something about love, but... What's really going on here? You must see this world with your own eyes. I know that, but this world really is strange. But of course, this is the mental world. None of your common sense applies here. I'm sure you figured out already, but Sarley's quite complicated, you know? Yeah, I kinda got that. Just ran away from a fight. Uh, it's so hot when you covered in hair. Um, who are you supposed to be? Ginori. What are you doing here, Ginori? Your friends are already gone, you know. They're not my friends. They're not. But you were with them just a moment ago. But they're not my friends. Don't you know about the anti-friend law? Anti-what? Hmm. Someone mentioned that earlier too. Exactly, the Nero Killer Z exists to protect people from love and friendship. So how could such an organization call each other friends? So who were those guys who were with you? They just happened to be there. I find that hard to believe. You were all completely in sync. But they're not my friends. Friends are bad. Okay, okay. Anyway, Ganori, do you know where I can find Sarley? Sorry, do you mean Professor Plank? You know her? Yeah, sorta. Please tell me where I can find her. Hmm. You sure ask for a dif difficult thing. Why do you want to kneel? S speak of the devil. So you were near Roku, was it? You saved me earlier. There's no need to thank me. You just couldn't let MFO do as they please. MFO? Like that one you defeated earlier? You need to be more, more careful in the future. You never know when the enemy might strike. But before that, who the heck are you guys? Why, thank you so much for asking. We're the warriors of justice who bring order to this world. Nero Killer Z. That's starting to sound cooler and cooler. Ah, so you finally understand our cause, do you now? Yeah. I was a little shocked last time, but I think it's got a good ring to it. Ah, to meet someone who understands. 
Yeah, and I really dig that finishing pose, too. Of course, it's all a lie, but I need to find out where Sarla is. Ah, oh, man. I wish I could be one of you guys. Ah, <laughs> so he's, he's lying, though. You? Yeah. Hmm? You wanna join us, you say? Did I say something out, out of order? Of course, you can't become one of us. There's only one Nioroki. Okay, okay. This is an insult to all Nioroki's. If you thought you could fool me, you best think again. Okay, I'm sorry, but it's not that I was trying to trick you. Niyu Niyu? I know I said I wanted to become one really lightly, but you guys do seem strong and I thought it was cool. Niyu Niyu Niyu. But I was also hoping you might be in a good mood and tell me something. Niyu 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 Niyu? That's a lot of Niyus. Well, I must give you credit for spotting the real deal. Hey, can you just tell me, where can I find Professor Plank? Hmm. Take that to me, you know. What do you plan on doing once you meet the professor? But I'm... Have you thought that the professor might not want to see you? Well, you don't know that until we've tried, right? I suppose you do have a point. But that is entirely up to you. What do you mean? I still do not completely understand you, human. Are you on our side, or MFOs? Time to go. Hey. I pray that the next time we meet, it is not as enemies. I'm going to... What is it? F Why does it feel like I'm going crazy? Because you probably are. Alright. We're gonna end this here for now. In the next part, we head to the MFO headquarters. Continue, uh, Sarley's weird genometrics. See you guys then.